first of all, yes, I need a haircut. Second of all, yes, I do have stupid facial pubes on my face and I'm assaulting my mic, god damn it. <laughs> so this is going to be my last video of 2019. End of a decade. Um, you know, it's been a tough kind of decade I think. But uh, I have uh, some notes here uh, that I want to talk about for my video. But before we start, I kind of want to show you uh, what I got uh, at Christmas. So I'll meet you on the cell phone. Alright, so you join me on my cell phone. So that's what I got for Christmas. I got a printer, a classic like PlayStation 1 like controller, courtesy of my oldest brother. I don't have batteries for it, it's kind of just sitting on my PC being a bit useless. But I'm going to get batteries for it soon. So I got some smelly stuff from my other brother, hoping that's not a subliminal message that I need to get washed. I get washed all the time, okay? I I indeed get washed all the time. I'm not a smelly bastard who can't be asked looking after basic hygiene because I do do that, obviously. So if that's a subliminal message, thanks, much appreciated. I'm glad you're looking out out for my uh, basic hygiene when I can do that myself. But I'm still thankful nonetheless for the smelly stuff. Anyways, let's get back to this uh, this video. So that's what I got like for Christmas there. Um, you know, it's not bad I guess. Uh, at least it's better than nothing. Um, not trying to say that I'm a I'm like one of those guys that I expect to get a lot of things at Christmas because I'm 20 years old and I don't really expect much anymore. Like this year, ideally, all I wanted was clothes and money. Money so that I can go out and, you know, get my own stuff and obviously clothes from other people just because, you know, uh, new clothes is always a nice thing, you know? Uh, but if I do get money some point this week to go out and get my own stuff, I may do a vlog that will start off uh, 2020 nicely. So, yeah, uh, that's enough of that out of the way. So, I do have a little uh, note sheet here just to uh, talk about some stuff that I basically just had on my mind like, when I was typing this up. So... I guess what I'm gonna say is pretty much my 2019 has been a bit of a weird one to be honest like I've had some ups and I've had some downs uh, that, that pretty much they've really just like impacted me really like in a negative and in a positive way I suppose so pretty much um, uh, I, I, I don't know if I should say this but I'm gonna say it anyway uh, I've really kept this behind closed doors, but like, I had a relationship for about five plus years. No, I think it was uh, bang on the five year mark that unfortunately ended in April, and uh, it it sucks, but it kind of taught me a lesson as well. Because to be fair, during that relationship, I was a bit of an ignorant cunt, to be fair, and I really hate myself, looking back on it, for treating the significant other at the, like in a, in a bit of a bad way. Well, I didn't treat her badly, I was just quite ignorant. Like, I, like, I just, I would never have time for them, if that makes sense, and uh, I think that's probably part to do with why I got dumped and now I see why for like the next person that comes to me or the next person I go to um, I now know that I shouldn't be an ignorant cunt and make time for that person if that makes sense um, and to be honest uh, it really hit me hard when I got broken up with and uh, 
you know, it, like I, I didn't really have any sense of emotion anymore, and uh, nah, like I really like just I thought about a lot of things. Like I, I thought was I not good enough and everything else. Like you know, just the natural thoughts like when you get broken up with. And to be fair, although we're nearly into 2020, as of like Wednesday, um, I'm still sort of recovering from it, but I can like happily say that I am in a much better state than what I was back in like April, if that makes sense. Um, so I guess in terms of my college career, as you all know, I'm a college student. Um, I've had a pretty successful year so far uh, in my college. I, like, I finished my national qualification uh, business level 5 um, like just in June and uh, you know what, that positively impacted me, it actually made me feel pretty accomplished, like I managed to just get everything all done, I had a really really successful year. Uh, so now I'm into my level 6 business qualification which I hope to pass with Flying College by June next year which will pretty much secure my position in, uh, in HNC uh, business which will be this year uh, starting August and uh, I'm really really looking forward to that it's going to be like a super tough year is what I've been told but I am really looking forward to the challenge. Uh, so pretty much in short, um, like in terms of my college career, like this year's been pretty good. Also this year I will say that I've uh, met a number of incredible people uh, that have like indirectly helped me become a better person, if that makes sense. like. Those of you who are watching, you probably know who you are, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart for just being a good friend, or just being a friend of mine. And uh, honestly, I I really, really don't want you to change, even though change is unfortunately inevitable. If that makes sense, like change is indeed inevitable, and there is no way in hell that like you cannot change like you will always be changing if that makes sense you know so yeah um i will admit uh last year i made a video on a similar topic of this well i think it was pretty much the same topic and i pretty much i said that i was going to be like i was going to work on getting like fitter and cut out all the junk food but uh, I done goofed up. Hmm. I made zero progress on like going to the gym and you know like going out jogs in the mornings or at nights and everything else. I just sat in my room playing games all day long. Uh, you know I built my game PC and uh, that's kind of stopped me from like going out, uh, even though it really shouldn't have. But honestly, it has. Um, I'm gonna also say that uh, 2020 goals, I'm actually gonna try and just be proper, like, I don't know, I'm gonna try and be more consistent towards my yearly goals, like, saying that I'm going to be more healthier and stuff like that, you know, like, watching this, you're gonna be like, yeah, yeah, okay. Stop telling lies, Simon, come on. We know you're probably just gonna be the same old self come the next Hawkmanay next year. Uh, so stop lying. But, like, come on. Like, you need to give me a chance. You know, you need to give me a solid, solid chance. And, uh, I'm really gonna try and, uh, you know, try and be a bit of a more fitter person. You know, like going to the gym, runs and jogs and stuff like that. Uh, I'm gonna like also continue working on my mental state and just try and be a more happier person following what happened in April. I'm gonna just continue to keep on working on my mental state and you know just 
try and put those events like past me as much as I can and like try not like remember it much at all because if you keep remembering like something that's negatively impacted you, it's, it's really going to like hurt your mentality and it's probably going to drive you insane. So my goal is to just try and forget it as much as I can and just look at the positive side instead of looking at the negative side of everything. So yeah, uh, pretty much that is it for, for uh, my mental state and be happier with life. Um, I'm going to be honest, uh, in terms of content creation, I haven't really been consistent on YouTube if that makes sense. Uh, like, you would only really see a video from me maybe once in a while, or you'd maybe see a double upload from me once in a very rare blue moon, and, uh, you know, like, I was just very lazy with my YouTube channel, but now that I've got, like, an editor on board as well as I've got myself to, you know, edit my videos and stuff like that, um, I'm gonna be more consistent with my YouTube channel and try and reach my uh, kind of 1,000 kind of subscriber mark uh, by the end of next year. Uh, you know, I'm hoping I do very well with making content, even though I have like college and maybe even a job come next year uh, when I start uh, getting my get myself out there and just applying for jobs and shit. I'm gonna just try and be as consistent as possible with uh, making content and stuff like that on YouTube. Uh, also this year I'm giving uh, I'm giving Twitch a complete miss. I'm not streaming on Twitch anymore if you haven't uh, noticed already. Uh, I am completely uh, just boycotting Twitch. I can't be arsed with it anymore. Like legit I cannot be the slightest bit of bothered with uh, <coughs> I cannot be the slightest bit bothered with Twitch anymore so this year coming I'm going to just be more consistent with like streams on Mixer uh, uh, a Mixer stream kind of schedule is soon to follow uh, if you follow me on Twitter uh, you will be the first to know when a schedule goes live uh, and also just try and stick to that schedule as well now even though I've got like YouTube to worry about I want to try and just fit both streaming and content creation in with uh, my kind of content creation career slash hobby I don't know whatever one works I keep assaulting my mic I'm, I'm sorry um, also, like, this is like an optional goal that I want to try, but I don't think it's going to work that much. Uh, as I want to try and just go out traveling uh, to places and just kind of explore new and interesting things. Uh, whether that just be like, I don't know, like going up the north of Scotland or something like that, or going down England or something like that, I want to actually genuinely. Um, I keep I keep hitting my mic, but I genuinely want to try and just like go out traveling places, not regularly, but just at like random intervals in the year, just like go to maybe like events or something like that. Uh, a few events that I'm interested in going to is uh, Insomnia Resonate and uh, maybe TwitchCon Europe. That's in March, I believe. Even though I don't stream on like um, Twitch anymore, um, I still want to go to TwitchCon. Uh, I did put on my Twitter uh, not too long ago that I might give Twitch another another try, even though I did just say that I've completely boycotted Twitch, but maybe one day I might, uh, I might return to Twitch and maybe give uh, streaming on there one more chance, and if it completely just does not work, then <laughs> back to Mixer I go, you know? So, yeah, pretty much um, that is my goals uh, for 2020. So overall, my goals are to be a mentally better person and being more healthier by actually being active and like cutting out all the bad stuff and uh, 
actually being a more healthy eater, I guess, and just going out jogs in the mornings or at nights and, you know, stuff like that. Um, of course, 2020 is going to be the year of which I'm going to be more consistent on the online world with Mixer, maybe Twitch and YouTube. And my, my goal, like I said, is that I'm going to try and just reach uh, 1,000 subscribers. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to just try and, uh, you know, just go out places, which would be a really good opportunity for my vlogging channel. Because I know like when I do vlogs, it's always just the same thing. Like I'm always either staying at home or going up to the local shopping centre. And, and I know you guys are like, man, that's all you do. That's literally the most boring thing ever. Like, actually do something, like, better other than going to your local shopping centre or something. And I totally get it, okay? I totally get it. So, yeah, uh, pretty much that is it for this video. Um, I know there was probably a shit ton of repetition on this video, and I do apologise, but it is what it is, I, I guess. Uh, it's just me, I always repeat myself, I don't know why I do it, it's just something I do. You know what, that's something that I could work on next year, is uh, stop being a broken tape recorder. A literal human form of a human tape recorder. That, that'll be another goal I can work on next year. So, yeah, uh, I think that is about it uh, for this video. Uh, more videos will be coming soon in 2020. Uh, it will just be gameplay videos that have been waiting to be edited forever and I've just not really had the mindset to do it. And uh, yeah, uh, they will be coming uh, very soon uh, if all goes well. Um, and also like, other forms of content will be coming soon as well. If you want to follow me on my social media platforms, you can follow on my Instagram, Twitter, and you can follow up my Facebook here. And if you're new around these parts, why don't you hit that subscribe button down below? It's absolutely free. I'm going to try and be more active on the YouTube scene. If you haven't checked out my last video, it will be on the end card below. And uh, yeah, that's about it from me. My name is Silent Hound. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.